Are you ready for some convenient, easy, inexpensive, and healthy options that you can make from basically wherever you are? Then you're in the right place. Let's get cooking. So this is an Indian chana masala. This is Indian Bombay potatoes. Uh, there are a lot of different versions of these. These are the two that meet my di dietary needs. Yours may vary. And so these are microwavable. They're also able to be made in the stovetop, but it would be really easy to, to bulk these things up. They say that there's two servings per container, um, but if you maybe need a little more than what would be in this container, or if you need to stretch it to multiple meals or for multiple people, there's some really simple ways to do that. So four these uh let's see this one has chickpeas with tomato onion and spices this one is bombay potatoes potatoes chickpeas slow cooked with spices and a zesty tomato sauce so the first thing that you could do of course is to put this over something like rice that you might make now this is uh rice on the stovetop if you don't have a stovetop there are minute rices and microwavable rice packages kind of like these or microwavable white rice options in the store so you could utilize that as an option of course you could make a baked potato either in the oven or on in the microwave and put this on top of the potato so that would be another good option for you you could also add things to this so in this case um, they're chickpea based so maybe I would add some chickpeas. At my house I have dried chickpeas that I typically make a big batch of and then freeze some so then I will bring them out and add them to that. You can also buy a can of chickpeas, drain that, rinse that, add that to this meal and that would bulk it up. Other things that you could do of course would be to add something like a can of diced tomatoes. This one has green chilies in it. It's a mild with green chilies. This is diced tomatoes. You could heat these up and add them to that as well. And so that's how I would probably utilize those two. Now another option would be something like this. This is um, an ultimate vegetarian chili. This was a dollar at Big Lots when I got it. Um, it says that this is one serving per container, but maybe you would want more of a serving or maybe you need to make it last for two meals. Um, they give you a microwave and a stovetop option on how to prepare this. And what I might do to uh, bulk this up, again, we've got the rice option that we've talked about with the other options. You could put this over a potato for sure. There's also like, um, mac and cheese option so you could make a mac and cheese at home or if you are in a place where you only have a microwave uh, access then you could get one of those cups of mac and cheese and make it a chili mac so that would be an option to expand that also you could add more beans to it um, and so get get a can of beans and after you've heated that up then you could heat up some beans mix them together. Just make sure that if you are in like a hotel or something that you get a pull top can or you have a can opener because that would be sad. Of course you could, like I mentioned on the other ones, also add additional tomatoes. You could also add additional veggies if you wanted to that. Uh, and there's a ton of steamer bag options that you might want to, then you could microwave it, or if you wanna cook it um, on the stove, you could do that. And so you could add some veggies to your chili. And of course, there's also an option to add like some bacon bits. These are um, not real bacon and it's empty, but wanted to show that as an option. And of course, another option for chili is always to add some corn. So that would be another way that you could bulk that up and really make it go a lot farther. And our last example is going to be um, like a sauce packet. So this is a Thai mango simmer sauce that you can utilize. The directions tell you to saute veggies or whatever you want uh, to put this over and then simmer it and then serve which would be a great way to do that. Really simple way to get some wonderful flavors 
what might I do with this? So you could get, of course, a bag of steamer veggies. This one isn't steamers, but this would be a good stir fry starter. There are steamer ones available of this uh, with broccoli, sugar snap peas, green beans, carrots, celery, onion, mushroom, and red peppers. So getting a steamer bag or of course steaming these in the microwave. These do have a microwave option and you just don't do it in the bag. So um, that would be an option. Putting this, of course, on top, and again, over rice, or you could do over any grain, really, for any of these, would be another option. You could also, um, again, potatoes, they're wonderful. You could put your veggies and this over a potato, again, to bulk it up. Some people prefer potatoes or sweet potatoes. Some people prefer grains. You don't have to do any of those, something like this chili. There are enough other options that you don't have to put it over a grain or a potato if you don't want to. Um, but of course it is an option. So it doesn't really matter where you are. You could be in a hotel room or in a dorm room or in some sort of like short term rental where all you have is a microwave and like a fridge. Or you could be at home and now you have some really convenient, fast, easy, and relatively cost-effective options to still have a healthy meal. So if this is something that you are interested in knowing more about, go ahead, give this a thumbs up, and stay tuned because there are gonna be more videos that actually show you what I ended up doing with all the meals that we talked about today. We'll see you next time, bye.